Hello, uh, recently I successfully passed uh, Google Play developer verification for an organization and I want to share my tips in this video. The process uh, took a month for me, but only because I messed one single step and they put me back in the line, the verification team. The good thing is if you report an issue to the Google support for the verification, they reply really fast, but uh, the bad thing is you still have to wait if you messed uh, things up uh, as me too, and at least you'll know why you messed up. Uh, well, everything you need to do is well documented in Play Console requirements, and my suggestion is uh, just read really well to not mess things up because uh, they're strict. I'd like to extend this document with uh, some tips uh, from my own experience. Here I'd like to state three important uh, steps. Uh, that is the DUNS number, obtaining the DUNS number, and uh, personal ID verification, and uh, company verification. Obtaining the the UNS number is simple, the process took a week for me and got the number and I didn't have any issues signing up for the DUNS. I did this a year ago when I was applying for the Apple Developer Program and if you intend to apply for the Apple Developer Program too, I also made an instructional video for that. When requesting a DUNS number, I went to this page, get the DUNS and uh, I selected an I'm an Apple developer. I guess you'll select an I'm a Google developer, but it's the same number. It's just a unique uh, identifier for your business and the uh, Google Play uh, requests as well as the Apple developer program. I can't remember exactly the process, but it was simple. So I went to this page, developer Apple, I selected the email done and uh, Bradstreet. Entered my email and uh, follow the steps. When following the steps, uh, make sure that you have a full legal business name, a business structure. In my case, it was a limited liability company, uh, as is a DOO in Croatia, and industry classification codes. Uh, there are two uh, industry classification codes that you need to fill. I used uh, SIC code uh, 7371, for computer programming services and NAICS code uh, 541511 for custom programming services. At some point at the end, the form will ask you to provide the document that verifies the data you entered for your company. Uh, I suggest you submit uh, the proof of registration and uh, that's it anyways for confirmation. It will take about a week. As for personal identification verification, I think you need to be a legal representative of your company. Uh, you have to upload uh, the scan of your ID card, uh, the front and back. And I remember I had issues uh, when uploading. I think they have an issue with uh, PNG uh, format. And if you have issues too, try JPEG. As for company identification verification, well, basically it's simple, but you need to read carefully the supported documents that you can send to them so the verification for your company can pass. Long story short, it should be a proof of registration, proof of company registration, and uh, my error was that I sent them uh, publicly available uh, PDF uh, screen uh, from the creation registry of companies. That was sloppy of me and uh, that's why I got a one month extended verification wait. Well, that's enough for verification, but if you intend to sell your app or put ads in it, you also have to fill a tax info. And I made another video for that, for filing tax info as an organization. So you will need the V8 Benny document and uh, be careful when entering the company name uh, they don't support uh, special characters uh, so i think uh, only alphabet numerical ampersand and uh, 
I think it was a hyphen. If your company has a name, uh, like uh, dots in the name, uh, just uh, leave those dots out and you will pass the payments verification. And uh, that's it. Well, uh, really verifying as a play developer, as an organization is simple. Just pay attention to the detail. Read carefully what they request from you and you'll have no issues.